Hey guys, welcome to your 23rd C Sharp tutorial. It seems like it's been so long since I've made any tutorials. Actually, I really think it's been Christmas break. I told, I was looking at some of my comments and I said I was going to make one over spring break and that didn't happen. I'm very bad at prioritizing, well, prioritizing for things I have to do, but things I want to do because I enjoy them, I prioritize them in a way that probably shouldn't. Um, so anyways, Let's see, um, I was going to change one thing in this, and I'm probably going to put a note on my previous tutorial, um, and if I have, you already would have known that, but there was an easier way for me to do this print parts. I could have taken this public void print parts, um, copy, let's, we're going to put it in this class here, and rather than putting it in each class after this, I'm going to do, um, I'm going to take it out here because I don't need it here. And what this is going to do is this is going to call base dot print parts. And what this is going to do is going to call the method print parts up here from the base class and print out tank size actual and horsepower actual. Um, and it will use the um, properties that I gave it here rather than zero because it's declared them already. Um, ooh, gosh, my cord is underneath my chair. Okay. Um, C Sharp and any object-oriented programming language is very good about doing a lot of the work for you. So you don't have to worry about which, which one it's going to use because it goes in order of when you did it. So like if I made another class, which I'm about to make, like BMW, um, well, I'm not going to make the interview because I don't know the names of the cars, but... <laughs> and you did, like, tank size 10 liters again, but horsepower 150 or something like that because BMWs have a lot of horsepower. Then it would print out correctly. Um, so that's the best way to do that rather than having to put a print parts in every single class that inherits it. Um, so let's go ahead and start this little project, mini project thing that I'm going to do. Ford. Class Ford inherits cars. And I'm going to go a little bit faster this time because I've already done this stuff. Um, I'm going to make probably one more um, car class after this. And then I'm going to start implementing more um, stuff. I might do an has a um, thing. So let's close up this Porsche thing here. I don't need to look at that right now. Um, so we're going to do public board. Oops. Um, again, we're going to do int tank size, comma, int horse power and we're going to do base again to say that we're going to send this stuff up to the base class uh, yeah let's leave that open tank size right there how nice um, and horse power oh no I don't know how to do that horse power and then obviously fill in curly braces. You know what? I think I like that better right there. So I'm going to leave that there. Maybe I can do that here too. Ah, yay for formatting. Um, so let's close up this one too. Actually, now we're going to have to go back in here and do Ford. Um, Ford. Let's do Fiesta because I can't think of any of the trucks. Equals new Ford. We're going to instantiate the object just like we always do. And this time we're going to do a uh, 10 liter engine. And how much horsepower would a Fiesta have? I don't know. I don't really know foot pounds. I'm a metric kind of guy. I like science. Um, so now we're going to say uh, base.print parts again. Now I want to make sure that this is actually um, working correctly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this and see, make sure that it does it. And let's see. Um, hold on. The tank size is... Um, ooh, there's another thing we should do. Because it's going to print out the tank sizes, the tank size is. But we're not going to know... Um, hold on, let's put in another right line. That way we'll know um, in between... But we're also, but we're not going to know what it is. So let's put in a string called, um, and just put in what the type it is, Porsche Boxster. And then down here in our, um, we're going to do str
string car uh, name, I guess. It should be make and model, but we're going to go with name because that's a lot shorter. And then we're going to do string name car name. And then we're going to need to do another one protected string car name actual equals, and we're going to do null because that'll just make an empty string object. That way, if something goes wrong, it'll print out just blank. That way, you, whenever you print it, it won't say um, the object error at object string trying to print out something that is null, like something stupid like that. And then we're going to do car name. And then we're going to do the same thing for forward, comma, string car name. And I don't think I actually added that up here. I did, did not. Um, uh, car name. Sorry for all the weird noises. Ford Fiesta. There you go. And now you can also do this for other um, things. Now, really, um, you wouldn't need to do this for Porsche or Ford. But let's say that um, all the Porsches have the same axle type and all the Fords have the same axle type, but it's a different type. So then in here you would put in just to send up the axle type or something like that. Um, so now this should work except we're going to say console, oh my gosh, console, I really butchered that, butchered that. Um, the plus car name, car name actual uh, has, and then do this and then um, change this to tank size take out the is and let's see that, what that looks like uh, hmm, why did that not print out? Mm, oh, because we left it at null duh, so car name act actual equals our name. There we go. Now it should work. There we go. The Porsche Boxster has tank size 10 liters, horsepower 150, 100 foot pounds. The Ford Fiesta has tank size 10 liters, horsepower 100 foot pounds. So now what I want to do is uh, let's just do this here. Copy and paste is your friend. So let's do. Um, What should I do? What should I do? I don't want to do Chevrolet. I don't want to do GM. Let's do Kia. My mom has a Kia. Oh, public Kia. Thank you for catching that mysterious stranger that is very smart inside of my Visual C Sharp program. Uh, Kia. Do Forte. That's the kind of car my mom has. She has a pretty silver Kia Forte that got hail damage the other day. Um, tank size, I think hers is 10 and it's probably 100 or something. And then we're going to do Kia Forte. Now, this should do exactly the same thing as the other ones. The Kia Forte has blah 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 blah. It's just appended on. So, um, this is, see, that made, made it so much faster rather than having to type all of this out again. So in the next tutorial, this one's coming on like five minutes, I think. I think in the next tutorial, I'm going to just add some more um, aspects, like um, the a string called um, motor type or engine type, and maybe um, interior or the kind of gas it can use. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I may do something else, though. But And if I catch myself and I've done something wrong, then I'll also fix that. So I will see you guys next time.